my god, I'm so glad to be doing this video. If you have a background noise, I'm sorry, my husband's working out, he's watching TV. But this video is to announce to you my printables in my Etsy shop. You guys know I've been very passionate about how planner companies need to create something really in depth when it comes to mental health, about self care, self help, medications therapists, mood tracking, and a lot of planner companies do not offer something that in depth. And I think that's what's really missing in this planning community. A lot of women in this planning community plan because it calms their anxiety. They say it's like their outlet. And so there's a lot of mental health, you know, issues in the planning community. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, it's just mental health issues. And I think what we can all benefit from from any planner company is having a planner dedicated to that all so since i couldn't find it my mom has always said if you can't find it make it yourself <laughs> so a lot of people not a lot a few people told me that i should make a men uh, mental health journal that covers all of that i know how y'all are y'all are so picky when it comes to paper sizes and all that so i said you know what no i'm not gonna do it so i kind of just let the idea go well, Chloe of Chloe Tree Plants came to me and said, if you feel like doing it, how about doing a printable? Okay, I like that. So that's what I did. And I did the printable. And today, the day you're seeing this is the day it's on Etsy. And it's linked in my profile. It's linked down below. And the reason I did a printable is because you can print it on whatever printer you want to print it on. You can put it on whatever paper you want to put it on. And I did not size them for different sizes. This is something very new for me. I want to see what the demand is. I want to see how you all are using it. See how it is before I decide to spend my time on all these sizes. Also, there is Adobe if you really want it, but I want to resize it. I, I don't know what program it is, but there is an Adobe program where you can size it down to what you want. So to get into this, I want to tell you what each printable is and then give you the prices. And there's also a bundle. So a bundle, you're gonna save a little bit of money. Okay, so let's get into it. And I am gonna be pointing the camera down. Once I get done with this portion, I'm gonna show you um, them up close and everything. So the first one we have is self-care and self-help. And it says a list of things slash people that bring you peace. Use this paper to write down important information and numbers for reference. Keep this paper in a safe but accessible place. So the reason, my main reasoning for these is to keep these as reference points with printables you can print them as much as you want so if you want to print them and you know i've had a couple of therapists message me and say thank you for this i'm going to give them to my clients you can print them as much as you want or if you just want to fill them out one time and then just keep it as a reference point you can the great thing about this is that you can laminate these and use them use a wet erase marker a dry erase marker i think and a sharpie pen not the sharpie marker but a sharpie pen and you can just erase it and use it over again if you want to go that route so i'm telling you a way to save you some money i'm very honest about that so the self-care and self-help one it's two pages so you're going to get two pages when you purchase there is one for therapy notes and notes for the therapist because how many times do you go to the doctor and you're like okay when i get to the doctor i'm going to say this and you forget to ask the questions and how many times has your therapist slash doctor told you something and you forget so that is what this paper is for all right and once i point it down i will show you all of the questions and prompts and not everything on here then there is one for medications medications prescribed over the counter this is a good paper for a reference point um it's about like what medications are you taking over the counter um prescribed what are the milligrams do you have any allergies to medications the side effects all that and then there is a mood tracker that is one sheet every sheet that you are going to get is going to have the national suicide prevention hotline on there and the website i thought that was very very important to add and that is something that's not incorporated that is something very important to add because with mental health comes struggles and if there is a time where you're struggling that number is right there which you should probably have on your phone if you're a person who struggles with depression and the website is right there the great thing about the national suicide prevention hotline and the website they are there just to listen and to talk and to try to help you feel better um but if you do find that you plan on doing self-harm to yourself please dial 911 okay so with that said i'm going to point the camera down at these and go over the questions and the prompts and the reasoning for those so with all that said thank you so much for watching this video thank you for the support i've had so far and if you buy these and use them please tag me 
on Instagram so I can share and be very, very thankful and grateful. See you All in a right, and thank you for tuning into this portion of the video. So I wanna get into each printable, why I chose the questions, why I chose the prompts, because there's a reasoning behind all of it. And like I said, at the bottom you, of every printable, you're going to get the National Suicide Prevention Hotline and the National Suicide Prevention website. This was very important for me to add into here because if you guys know my mental health story, you know why this is important. And so each printable, you're gonna get two sheets except for the mood tracker. Each printable that are two, that is two sheets is $5 a piece, all right? And the mood tracker is $2.50. So it's half the price. And if you buy all of them together, it's $15. So you'll basically get the mood tracker for free. The reasoning why I did them separate and as a bundle, because you may not be taking any type of medications, but you do want to use the self-care. Um, you might not be seeing a doctor, but you take medication. And so you just want the self-care and medication. So that's why I did it separately. But if you feel the need to have all of them, you can have the bundle for $15. So what I want to do first is just go over each part so this is the self-care and self-help bundle and it says um, well not bundle the journal a list of things slash people that brings you peace use this paper to write down important information and numbers for reference keep this paper in a safe but accessible place um, the reason why I say it's a reference point because you may only need to fill this out once and use it for a few weeks or use it for a few months and then say okay I need something else that's on there so you can print it out again so a reference point means like keeping it in your planner um, keep it in a folder nearby. Um, let your friends and family know, like if you're, you know, you're suffering or something, say, hey, it's in the folder, this color on my desk, so they can refer to it. So I made this so you can let people, other people know, you know, what's going on. So you can say, hey, this folder is here, it's in my room, it's in my desk, can you please read this to me? Especially if you're struggling, you may not be in your right frame of mind. So there we go. So the first question says, who slash what gives you peace? This is very important to your so self-care and self-help. So I love a few lines. So if you need more than this, you know, you can add some note paper. But since this is new for me, if you feel like you need more, I can always add more lines. Phone numbers such as close friend, family, doctor, therapist that, you know, you can call. Quick things that may instantly calm you, help you feel better. I love this because there may be something that can just really snap you out of it. It's easier said than done. But if it's something that you know works, put that down. What will you do each day for self-care and help? It could be something different, but usually there's something that's always the same for me and which is a hot shower or a bath. So that would be what I would put down here. The second page you get for that is things that I have unsubscribed to to protect my mental health. I did a podcast about unsubscribing and that it means unsubscribing from people, things, certain things on social media, things in real life, all of that stuff. So what are you unsubscribing to? Basically saying no to to protect your mental health. What am I afraid of? Why am I afraid? That is a really good question. It's a deep question. Like, what are you afraid of? And why are you afraid of that? Once you write down what you're afraid of and why you're afraid, it'll be easier to tackle it. Um, my support team slash people. Who are the people in your life or your team that support you no matter what you're going through? And things to keep me safe. All right. What are things to keep you safe? What are places? A place for me when I have a bad time is my closet. There's no windows. I just close the door and I'm good. So that is the self-care and self-help journal. And like I said, each printable is two pages and it's five dollars. Therapy notes and notes for therapists. Notes for your therapist slash doctors. Notes from your therapist slash doctors. Keep this in a paper as a reference. If you don't see a therapist, but you see a doctor, you can still use this. I made it very general. When is your next appointment? So this one you may need multiple copies of, okay? But like I said, you can laminate it, use a marker on it. When is your next appointment? What questions do you have? Because like I said, you're gonna, if you have questions, write them down, all right? Notes to bring up to your doctor or slash therapist. So say, hey, my medication's not working, or hey, I need medication, or is there anything like, if you don't wanna take medication, you want something for like self-help, like what can I, like, what can I do? Any concerns you may have, all right? The second one is, has anything changed from this appointment? So did you get a medication change? Did you get taken off of a medication? Did you, you know, are you going to do something that's going to help you better? So you need to write down anything that's changed so you can incorporate that into your life. Were you prescribed slash taken off medication? All right. If no, then put no. How do you feel about your therapist doctor? This is a good one. If you feel like you're kind of iffy, it's time to change doctors, okay? This is whether or not you're seeing a therapist or your general practitioner. 
Uh, new questions or notes for your next appointment. So this is important to have for your next appointment. And when you have this down here, you can print another one and fill out the paper all over again. Moving on to the medications prescribed and over the counter. List of medications both prescribed and over the counter. Keep this paper as a reference. What is your current medication that is prescribed and what is the dosage? What current over the counter medications are you taking and what is the dosage? Any allergies to medication? The reason I put this here is because if somebody comes over and say worst case scenario they have to call 911, this is what they can tell. 911 over the phone or the ambulance that you're allergic to medication so they do not kill you. Side effects of any of these medications, that is important to know. The second page, what date did you start taking prescribed medications? What pharmacy do you go to and the phone number? This should be on your phone, but it's a good reference point. Any concerns about your current medication, this is what you should bring up to your doctor. How often are you taking medications, OTC and prescribed? So if you're taking something three times a day, put that down there. If you're taking, you know, over the counter for whatever reason, put what you're taking. So that is the medications prescribed and over the counter. And a mood tracker. I thought a mood tracker was important because if you are tracking your moods, you can kind of figure out where you're at in life. And I did number one through 10, one being very low, 10 being very high. And these are the moods I put. Happy, sad, angry, irritated, danger to myself, excited, numb, calm, energetic. This was important to add. If you fill this up, it may be time for you to call this number. So this number and um, website, even though it's important on all of the sheets, it's very important on here if you color this in or just put an X or whatever. So I did your typical, very generic moods, but the danger to myself was one I really wanted to add so you can see where you are. Now this one, you're probably gonna need multiple of them or like I said, you can laminate it or whatever. So that is that. You can get each of these printables. This is 250. The rest are five dollars all right and the reason i chose blue because if you're colorblind it is the easiest color to see thank mark zuckerberg for that which is why facebook is blue but i kept it very simple just add a little bit of design right there i kept the questions where you don't have to think too hard and the prompts the same way this is something that's very very new for me and so i wanted to create this to kind of give you guys a guide as to what to do because like I said a lot of planner companies do not do this they don't add in the in-depth stuff and I know Aaron Condra made a medical book but that's more for chronic illness this is gonna help you whether you're going through it or not so yes I am very happy to announce this I'm very proud of what I created so I do want to thank Chloe Chloe of Chloe Tree Plans for giving me the idea and giving me the push and yeah, and check out my Etsy link. And if you buy this and use it, let me know and tag me. Um, I will be working on different sizes when I get back, because by the time you see this, I will be on the road um, and seeing what I can come up with. But if you really want the size before I'm able to do that, Google is your friend, YouTube. There's an Adobe program <laughs> that you can use. But yes, um, the size is letter size. All right, so if you need to trim it down, you can. So yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.